Hey guys, this is Dave with Aquarium Express. So today I'm going to be talking about Euphelia. Um, also a little bit of Zoas, but we're mainly going to touch on to the basics of these corals. Um, so interesting enough, ha, you know, it's funny. A lot of people think, okay, I have a little bit of nitrate. Let's boost it down. Let's get it to zero. Not right. What you want to do is you want to have some nutrients, especially if you have a mixed reef, like I have acroporas right here, and then I have zoas, euphelia, mushrooms, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, and a lot of people think you need to zero those numbers. Well, I was, I had a hair algae issue, and so I went balls to the walls and got a bio pellet reactor, and I boosted up my skimmer, and now you can see there's no hair algae whatsoever but the bio pellet took the nitrates down to zero i haven't been able to get them up at all so i'm literally putting hand food handfuls of food in here i'll show you and i actually just fed them once today oh and this is a good way to boost your nutrients too you don't need to buy anything for it look at that look at that boom My hippo tang loves it. That's Goliath. He is massive. He actually got me yesterday. I poured food in there for him and I swished it around like I do to get it so it just doesn't stay on the surface. And he got me on the pinky. Oh my God, was that the worst pain? Oh, it burned. It was horrible. But as you can see, I'm trying to boost my nutrients in here because some of my euphelia, the skin was receding back. And, you know, I was trying to figure out what was going on. Um, and it was just too low in nutrients. Because since I've started feeding like this and turned my skimmer off for a couple days, I've had my Aussie bounce back. I've had everything bounce back and look great. Um, and when you do, when you have zero nutrients, your Zoas grow slow. Like I had a nitrate spike. And these guys right here, right here. They were growing maybe two or three polyps a week. I had a nitrate spike and dude, I was growing like 10 polyps a week. It was insane. Um, so nutrients, you gotta think every coral needs nutrients. It all needs nutrients to survive. So that's why it's so vital to have those nutrients. And also that's why I have a heavy cleanup crew. Like I have 400 Australia snails in here, 150 uh, blue legs. 50 emeralds you know I, I do a heavy cleanup crew to try and keep it so we don't get that debris sitting on the bottom and i have a lot of flow in here but so nutrients are definitely a very important part of the reef um, especially when you're doing mixed uh, you got to be careful because if you raise your nutrients too much you're going to run into hair algae issues uh, red slime etc and so forth and you also got to be careful because some of your acropores don't always like dirtier water where your euphelia, honestly, loves dirty water. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll show you this. These guys right here. So this tank, it just, it, it stays here. And the nutrients are, the nitrates are like 40. And everything that doesn't do well in here, euphelia-wise, I put over there, comes bounces right back. Um, but as you can see, everything's really happy. And I'm going to show you my high-end collection. We got... A little bit of everything. Exospheres, AIOs, GMKs. Stop. The music stops. 